Hello, everyone. Cindy Walter here, the Healthy Knitter. And I am getting ready to head out the door. Uh, I am host co-hosting a smoothie bowl party tonight for our business. And we're sampling. Uh, everybody can pick their smoothie bowl and then pick all their favorite toppings. And we're having a party. So it should be fun. And I was getting dressed and I thought, oh, I'm going to wear one of my favorite sweaters, probably one of the ones I'm most proud of. And since I was going through all of that and styling an outfit, I thought I'd do a quick, quick little podcast with you to tell you a little bit about it and then show you a very quick video that I did to explain how easy cabling is if you've never done it before. It looks incredibly difficult, but this is called sweater number 15 from My Favorite Things, and it's uh, two uh, yarns held together. So it's the Barocco Ariel Color 3435 Mustard mixed with Queensland Collection Drover Merino Silk in Tweed Ivory. So it was an ivory held with a mustard, and I absolutely love it all get back so you can see it did um blossom a little bit more than like like what I said on yesterday's podcast when I blocked it it grew quite a bit um but it also softened up it, it was um a little stiffer when I first completed it and I tried it on and I really liked the size and then when I blocked it it stretched quite a bit so I did my Block your ears if you can't handle this. I did my throat in the dryer for a couple minutes just to try to get it to shrink back down a bit. And it really did work. So it's a little oversized, but not too much. I love it. It's it's soft. It's cozy. I love the color. And I love the cables. And at first, I was, I was really excited because I felt like the cables went quick. Well, they went quick until you got, until you joined in the round and then you had such a big area to do the cabling, but I just love, love all the cables. Um, I had done a couple ear bands with cables in it before I did this. And I, it was much, much easier than I thought it was. So I thought I'm going to, I'm going to give this a try. And I was really, really impressed with the process. And once you get going with it, it's like, you want to at least do a whole, a whole cable row. So it was, I think it was like 10 rows every time you pick it up so you can complete one and then it would kind of keep you going and motivated and moving. But anyway, I think this is my first time wearing it. And I had it on a little bit ago and I was talking to my daughter and I got hot and I had to take it off. So this, this will be kind of short, but what I wanted to do was share my screen with you and just show you a very quick video I did. It's like a minute long. Uh, one minute and five seconds long showing how to do the cable. So if you don't know how and it's something that you like the look of, but maybe you're intimidated by it or overwhelmed, I want to show you how easy it truly is. So let me share my screen here and hit go. All right. I just want to show you how simple this beautiful cable knit is. All right, I just want to show you how simple this beautiful cable knit is. It looks so overwhelming, but it's a 10 row pattern. And every 10th row, all I do is I take three stitches of my six knit stitches, put them on the cable, and then I go after those and oops, I go after that and pick up the next three and normally knit them. So knit three stitches. Then I'm going to pick up the three that I took off on the cable, and that's what makes the twist. So then I'll put these last three knitted on. And then once they're on, I will switch back to my purl and purl my three in between, and you'll see the beautiful twist form. They look so scary and intimidating, but it's that easy. That's it. So all it simply is, is using that little cable needle and they come in all sizes and shapes. And it's just, a, it makes a simple twisting pattern and it really is that easy. So I just wanted to share that with you because it just can tend to look overwhelming and it's, it's really not. So. That is it for today. I wanted to give you a quick update. Um, oh, just can hardly believe I'm telling you this, but my um, sweater that I've been working on, my no frills petite knit sweater, 
The body's done. One sleeve is done. Fabulous. I am almost done with my second sleeve. And remember, this is the one I ran out of my mohair um, with, and I had to buy some from the UK and it took weeks to come. Well, now I'm going to run out of my other yarn and I'm not going to make it through this sleeve. So guess where I'm heading right after, um, or before my smoothie bowl party, because it's in the same town, going back to the knit shop and hoping they have one skein left so that I can finish this. And I'm only going to need a little bit of it. I just have probably about five inches left to go. And then I'll be able to finish that sweater, but I'm hoping they have it so that I can get right to it. Uh, so I've made a lot of progress on it though. Since last time um, I met with you, that's where I was. So I finished this sleeve since our last time together. And then I started this sleeve. So lots of progress. I could have this done by the weekend if she's got the yarn. So fingers crossed. And then the other project I've been working on is my second sock. Haven't made much progress on that because the sweater is really my focus, but I'm on my second sock and I showed you this is what it will look like. I loved doing the different color toe and heel. So I'll be doing that and finishing those socks, uh, hopefully here in the next week, maybe before I come to you, I'll have another pair of casted on. Tomorrow is my knit along from 11 to one Eastern. I posted my zoom link. I'll post it again with this video. Would love to have you join us and just bring whatever you're working on along and we can knit together, uh, share what we're working on, ask questions, uh, talk about future plans, et cetera. But I hope to see you there. Have a great day and uh, we will see you next time. Bye-bye.